Hi guys, welcome to another video from the Crypto Gurus. Uh, we are going to talk about Bitmora today. Uh, Bitmora is not an ICO. So to clarify, first of, first of all, uh, we've been talking about a lot of ICOs recently and uh, uh, you might get an understanding that uh, this could be another ICO. Uh, but the reason why we are talking about Bitmora is because uh, it is changing the way fund is raised in the uh, blockchain industry and uh, it is also changing the way uh, transactions are done it is changing the way uh, things are happening in the exchange world so in a sense it is trying to build an exchange which is for the people and which is by the people now uh, the reason why it calls it an exchange for the people and by the people is because uh, th there are a lot of facilities on the exchange which allow uh, users of the exchange to contribute there are voting rights, uh, there are uh, substantial uh, ways in which a user can contribute um, and make the exchange better. So Bitmora as, a, as an organization is a team of individuals who believes in taking customer feedback real time and uh, implementing it so as to make uh, the product or the uh, service more effective. So it's a digital cryptocurrency exchange, uh, uniquely identified as an exchange for the people and by the people. We're going to here understand uh, what exactly Bit, uh, Bitmora is and uh, how is uh, it trying to revolutionize the uh, cryptocurrency exchange industry. So Bitmora is a US-based cryptocurrency exchange platform which is set to revolutionize the way the digital currency exchange world operates. So it will be bringing in a kind of a trading platform which will have very low fees uh, which will have very high or enterprise grade security the one which uh, is which exists in the system designed by the likes of uh, Google Microsoft etc and it will have a unique voting system which will be designed to put the future of cryptocurrency exchange in the hands of activists and users alike so uh, the reason why Bitmora is doing this is uh, if you look at the evolution of blockchain as a technology and if you look at the evolution of blockchain 1, more commonly known as uh, Bitcoin or blockchain 2, which is more commonly known as Ethereum, uh, each of the technology has evolved with the involvement of common public. Uh, it is a tech whiz who uh, stay in different parts of the world and who contribute to uh, creation of systems, technologies, uh, new facilities, use of smart contracts, for example, in the uh, Ethereum blockchain has been used worldwide and all the uh, coins that we see, the new coins that have come in or the new uh, companies, the ICOs that we have seen are a result of the openness which is shown by the system. So there are no geogra geographical boundary boundaries here uh, which means that the most popular 100 uh, top ICO related companies are not going to be based out of San Francisco they might be uh, spread across the world and might have contributed uh, irrespective of what their location is which is a big thing in itself but if you were to look at the cryptocurrency exchanges that exist in the system most of them uh, are not making things open to the public so they uh, most exchanges in any of the countries like uh, coinbase or the uh, Gemini uh, or Coven Hood, if I were to talk about the latest exchange from South Korea, all of them have deployed ways to implement exchange mechanisms, but none of them have incorporated user inputs here, which defies the whole purpose of using blockchain as a technology. You know, so you are, you are a part of the blockchain world, so irrespective of whether the a service you are providing includes blockchain directly or not uh, the idea of using cryptocurrency and the idea of making a free world and the idea of eliminating middlemen has to be achieved whenever this happens in the blockchain world which is defied by a lot of exchanges so bitmora is trying to break that and trying to bring in a revolution by which it is going to make sure that the concepts or the uh, values of blockchain are intact irrespective of whether the technology used uh, is not completely decentralized or decentralized 
So, the founders uh, of Bitmora, the three guys who've come together uh, with the intention of creating an exchange that is not only built for the people, but by the people. So, that's uh, very easily explained. And uh, so, the service is going to provide a platform will, which will allow users to globally exchange cryptocurrency in a professional way and help the uh, set the standard for all cryptocurrency trading. So, Bitmora is going to create new standards and going to uh, set new standards, new benchmarks for the cryptocurrency exchanges which are going to follow through. So, let's see if Bitmora is able to successfully do that. Uh, the concept and the idea is very unique and uh, so is the progress. So, if you were to look at the progress, they already have a very strong uh, prototype uh, which is in a working condition. Uh, they have an they are proposing a mobile a app which is going to be used uh, to do all the transactions and it is going to be seamless, it is going to be highly secure. So that is at least what they are claiming. Uh, we are looking at the core values of uh, Bitmora now. So one is that it has to be leading which means that uh, with the help of doing uh, bringing in a revolution in the exchange industry and uh, by setting an example, it is going to lead the uh, entire uh, exchange industry so community outreach so uh, blockchain is more uh, known to be uh, useful or uh, the success or the reason of success behind uh, blockchain as a concept has evolved due to the community outreach that it has provided due to the miners working on an algorithm to solve a problem together to create one bitcoin that is what community outreach is and that is what Bitmora is also planning to achieve. So for this they are going to provide superior customer support to what is currently offered in the mobile app with coin offerings far exceeding our competitors. So they will have more coin offerings in place, they will have very strong customer support and they realize that the issues faced by cryptocurrency customers or the cryptocurrency users exchange day in and day out. So today I am facing something else and tomorrow my problems might change. But uh, I don't know, I really have to understand, you know, so as an exchange, I have to be equipped up enough with tools to understand customer problems quickly. And that is where the voting system, which is going to be used by Bitmora comes in. We'll explain to you that uh, in detail later. Uh, right now, I'll go ahead with what the core values of Bitmora are. The third core value is public awareness. So, in order to make uh, larger public available, you know, un or understand Bitcoin, Ethereum and other altcoins, uh, it is very important to have interfaces which are very strong. And right now, it's a big challenge to track all of them in, through a single mobile app and, you know, do, do transactions through the same mobile app and track it on the same. So, you have to download an app which is on the coin market cap and then you go into a laptop and uh, log into your... Uh, uh, and a coin exchange and you do it so uh, that's that's and then there is a difference of prices because of different currency exchanges different markets etc which creates a whole, whole new set of problem and which is the reason why uh, it is still not mainstream the blockchain technology is still not mainstream bitcoin ethereum is not traded by masses yet so in order to bring it to the masses bitmora is going to uh, ensure that the public awareness is increased and for that they have a very strong UI and a very strong interface to interact with their customers. Uh, right, so the rates, coming to rates, so as they propose that they are going to make sure that the total uh, cost of doing a transaction or executing a transaction on uh, any of the blockchain platform goes down. Uh, they have a fixed price model where they are charging per, per uh, transaction the cost is going to be seven dollars plus 0 0.003 percent for the takers and 0 0.001 percent for, for the makers then it could be a percentage base where you have 0.24 percent for takers and 0.14 percent makers so irrespective of uh, so you can choose from one of these two options and you can find out which is free system best fits you and uh, if you are a taker you can easily see as per the, the amount of dollars exchanged. So the table here justifies as to what is the amount that you need to, you know, have a minimum investment of in order to go for the fixed cost, right? So for example, if you're investing $10,000, then it makes sense for you to go for the fixed, fixed system. 
whereas if you are doing a transaction uh, of hundred dollars then you might want to go for a percentage system right so bitmora is going to ensure that based on your requirement uh, the, be the best uh, uh, fee system is implemented whether it's percentage or fixed system based on your requirement it's going to get implemented now how is it going to ensure that a user's post are taken care of so uh, for this every user is going to be given a voting rights and the top 20 suggestion will be passed to the investors so what is going to happen is there's going to be a private voting group uh, users will be free to post any voting ideas uh, or any ideas which they think need a vote on those uh, voting groups will then you know have an influencer group so uh, there'll be an influencer group which will stand for or against the ideas and uh, against each of the ideas this influencer group is going to have an opinion then there's going to be an advising board so after it goes through uh, the private voting group and the influencer group uh, an advising board will discuss it and try to understand what the idea is all about the idea is mostly going to be around uh, building up new facilities into the exchange uh, adding off new coins which coins need to get added which coins need to get removed uh, how can speculation uh, trading be avoided how can uh, systems be made more easier? How can um, tradings like future or option or uh, any of the derivative trading happen in a better way? So these these are the things which users will be able to post a suggestion on, and they'll go through a series of uh, uh, you know quick steps, and uh, they're going to first implement it. So the top twenty suggestions will be. Uh, pass to our to the investors and the investors will have a final vote and uh, then uh, based on the voting rights and based on the uh, cumulative discussion between the founders the idea is going to get implemented which means that the user have a say the users have a say uh, and uh, when an idea is posted every user will have a right to discard or accept it now the target of so this is a matching uh, algorithm that or the matching logic that uh, Bitmora is going to use and the target of uh, achieving 1 million transactions per second is going to uh, help uh, is going to be facilitated with the help of this magic matching logic so basically uh, whenever a transaction has to happen there will be a binary input which will go through a high performance journal which will work in coherence with matching logic and this matching logic is so there's going to be a series of high performance journals and matching logic which are going to work it so work on the binary input and the binary input when they'll after uh, going through a series of performance journal and matching logic will go to a binary output which will facilitate a transaction and uh, this is how they uh, are planning to achieve so rest of the DDS are very largely technical but they are using a very strong matching logic to uh, achieve the speed of uh, 1 million transactions per second right so I think uh, that's it about the product uh, so Bitmora, as I told you, is not an ICO and uh, they are looking at a very different way of raising funds. Uh, we're going to discuss about uh, the fundraising mechanism used by Bitmora in a separate video. Uh, I hope you like this one. Uh, thank you.